hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm updating my alu pie recipe this one is going to be really easy to put together and super delicious as usual so if you'd like to see how to make this amazing vegetarian slash vegan recipe keep watching we're going to start this recipe off by putting up our potatoes to boil now you can make half the recipe if you like, if you didn't want to make a big batch. We're gonna allow it to boil until the potatoes are fork tender. Once they're tender, we'll go ahead and drain it and set aside. Next, take your potato masher and mash the potatoes. You want to make sure also at this time your potatoes, all of that water has been drained out and it's nice and dry. Just set this aside, let's work on our aromatics. So to my frying pan, I'm adding in oil. Now my aromatics that went in, which the camera missed, I have garlic, pimento, onions, and some chopped shadow benny or culantro. And we're just sorting that with a little bit of salt until it's tender. I like to add this to my alu pie. I find it makes a huge difference with the taste and the flavor. But if you wanted to omit it, you can. Next goes in some jeera. This is really important. And if you wanted to add some cheese and make it a cheesy alu pie, of course you can. We're just going to mix this into the potato. And once it's mixed in, we're going to set that aside. You'd want to taste and adjust the salt in that filling before we use it. So to my flour, I'm going in with yeast and baking powder, salt, and we're going to give that a mix. Now we're going to be adding our water a little at a time. Never add all your water at once if you're not accustomed to kneading flour. Add and mix, add and mix. Your dough is going to look very shaggy. And we're going to do this and as we mix, set aside and then mix again and set aside the dough. Now once your dough has, is looking like this you know you've added enough water now we're going to bring all of the shaggy pieces together and bring it into one bowl now I'm going to need this for about five to eight minutes I like to squeeze and turn squeeze and turn these are just some of the techniques that I use I like to punch down also what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this dough nice and smooth so that the gluten forms and we have some really delicious alu pies. So I'm going to form it into a bowl. And next step will be to cover it and allow it to rest. We're just going to allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't have to allow it to rest for too long. We're not trying to double it in size. Now once it's rested, we're going to go ahead and break up our dough balls i like to make my alu pies pretty small so i do like a two inch dough ball feel free to make it bigger if you like now remember the bigger you make your alu pies the longer it will take to cook and i got 16 pies from this dough next take one of the dough balls and open it out to about a quarter of an inch in thickness now you'll see my pies are really really small that's why I said you can make it bigger so open it and place a spoonful of filling press it down and now we're going to close it and you'll notice I'm not using any dry flour here try not to use any dry flour so that it closes and it sticks the dry flour actually prevents it from closing properly you can also take a fork and squeeze down on the ends and now I'm just gonna press it out slightly and one pie is finished I'm gonna finish fill the rest of pies and then we'll fry them so to your oil on a medium low heat you want to fry these until they're golden brown and crisp if you fry them in oil that's very very hot they're going to be raw on the inside so allow them to take their time and fry until they're golden they do puff up slightly when cooking 
once they're beautiful golden brown drain them and set them aside and continue to fry the rest and that's it guys that's how easy it is to make aloo pie this is just my version the way I like it and as I cut into it here you'll see how nice and thin that dough is so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe if you make it comment down below and let me know what you think thank you all so much for joining me today do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video Bye everyone!